Hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, I'm Nick Graf. I work on these open source projects. And today, I'm going to tell you a brief story. So once upon a time, uh, rich text editing on the web was hard. And for or fortunately, uh, nowadays it's not, because earlier this year, Facebook released DraftJS. And DraftJS is a rich text editor. Um, it's built in React, and it's built by and used within Facebook. So every time you see something, some text editing field that is more advanced than just having text, so ad mentions or hashtags or stickers, uh, that's using DraftJS. And you can figure this out by looking at the source and see that there's this data offset um, attribute. And the cool part about DraftJS is, uh, compared to all other rich, or a lot of other rich text editing um, solutions is, that matches the state of the representation. So every time you change something in the state, you actually update the DOM as well. And whenever you change something in the representation in the DOM, it updates the state. All right. Second of all, you can convert the whole state to a JSON, and then you can also restore the whole state from a JSON. So you can take this JSON and save it on your database. Um, and that's pretty cool, because you don't have to save all the HTML tags and stuff like that. You can actually get the data structure and do something with it and denormalize it or normalize it, whatever you want to do in the back end. And this is really, really powerful. So how to use DraftJS? Um, Simply, you import your editor and editor state to initialize the editor state, which is basically a value, and then you use it like a controlled component. Um, so you get the editor state, which is simply like the value in a controlled component, and you have on change, and then you can update this editor state again. All right, this, unfortunately, doesn't give us much, because what Facebook open sourced is simply the, the bare bones. And um, that's pretty cool, because now we have a tool to use, but we don't have all the cool features that Facebook built. So what happened is that a couple of people, uh, when this got released, started to build a lot of, um, like try to match the medium editor, for example, or, or build the rich text editors. And that ended up pretty, I, I would say, a little bit sad, because you had like 2,000 line files, uh, um, code, and then the editor component itself, it looked like this. And that's not the, the happy place, uh, at least not for me. And so a couple of friends of mine and I, we started out to um, build a plugin architecture uh, on top of DraftJS. And we named it DraftJS Plugins. Not very creative, but it served its purpose. And so what we did is we built this plugin architecture. And we built plugins, for example, like the hashtag plugin. And we reused the same. Uh, mechanism to find hashtags as Twitter does, because hashtags is not only finding a hash and then whatever comes afterwards, you actually have to think about all sorts of Unicode edge cases. And so you could get this out of the box with a couple lines of code. You get just create your hashtag plugin, put it into the editor, and you get the full feature out of the box. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of other stuff, like for example, the men mention plugin, which is definitely the most popular one. And there's even people who are like, we do crazy things like just add uh, DraftJS, DraftJS plugins, immutable JS, and React in the Angular code base just to get this plugin because it works so well. Um, it's a little bit more code. I'm not going to walk you through because um, there's no need. But in the end, it's just a couple lines of code, and you get the full feature set out of the box. There's Slack like uh, emoji auto completion. There is image resize, and drag and drop. And whenever you change something, remember, it updates your state. So you actually can use this and leverage this and, and put it in, uh, into your database and restore the same thing again. We have a site toolbar. You can make um, your content a headline, for example. Uh, you can make cool lists. All right. Um, we have an inline toolbar. So if you look for the medium experience, you can use this. Um, and our goal in the end is to make rich text editing like pluggable, that you can like, really pick whatever you need, uh, easy to grasp. And of course, all the plugins must be customizable. And then they all live happily ever after. 
Unfortunately, not yet, because we're releasing 2.0 very soon. Uh, thank you very thank much. You very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Just on time.